Okay, so now let me show you the hard way to do this. Just because you should know it. If you go to the rotate tool and hold control, click and drag, you'll see this magical black goo that goes across the mesh. And if you can't get it all the way to the finger, what I would suggest is let go of everything and then drag it again. And sooner or later, you're going to get it only in the area that is needed. This little widget tool can be done by clicking and dragging out. So if I click and drag it out onto the finger, wherever this is, is your pivot point. And here, you can rotate it using this red dot. Okay, very cool, right? So if I decide to move it like at the joint of the finger, I would have to drag this down to the edge loop of that and then click and drag this one out and then I can now move it to that. Okay, now let's look at another thing. Over here in the masking palette, masking, I have the ability to sharpen the mask or blur the mask. Now there is a way to do this on the keyboard. Again, I'm going to show you in the menu because you can always learn shortcut keys on your own. So if I sharpen this mask, you can see that the, the color change is very distinguished between the edge loops. And now when I rotate it, you're going to get a much different kind of rotate on that. And you can go from blur to sharpen pretty, pretty easy. Okay. So if you can't get something to bend correctly, know that you can always sharpen it and then rotate it. Now, as long as you have a good uniformed mesh with a nice flow of geometry, you can use this tool all day long and it's very easy. If you get too many weird edge loops in there, however, when I hold control and click down, it's not going to follow that natural edge loop order and it, you'll have some problems with it. Okay, now this goes for everything. Now, not just move, but actual scale. Like if I went in this area, I could scale this finger up by clicking and dragging in the center. So this red dot right here will scale it uniformly. I could scale it down. Let's say I want this finger more. I can go like that. I could scale it from the actual uh, start of it. So that's sometimes handy. And again, move works the same way. Move, as you can see, I can move it right here, I can move it right here, and I can move it right here. Again, always keep good flow because you can really hose this very quickly with this tool if you're not careful. Okay, so that, oh, and rotate works like this. So if you ever need to scale, move, and rotate the mesh after the fact, that is how it's done. We'll cover this a little bit later on symmetry and, you know, making a base mesh as a body form too. Uh, just, just to kind of refresh your memory on how to use this tool. But get, get to use it, get to know it, and um, work it before you start sculpting. Uh, memorize how it works before you actually get in here and make the whole entire hand. Alright, so on to the next video.